So just sitting up nice and tall. Just closing your eyes. Just allowing your mind, your body, your spirit, just time to arrive here on the mat this evening for your PGA and candles yang. Just letting go of anything you've been participating in before now. Any plans for later on? Just fully arriving here in this place at this time. Just beginning to check in and notice what sensations and feelings make up your physical experience right now. Energetically, how do you feel this evening? Emotionally, how do you feel right now? How are you doing? And then just rest your awareness on your breath. Just noticing its rhythm. Noticing its quality. And as you begin to breathe in and out through the nose, only if that's comfortable, just notice the inhale, the coolness of the breath as it enters, and the warmth of the exhalation. Continue just to follow the rise and fall of your breath here. And I'll read this poem to start a practice this evening. I return to myself. I return to the mystery of the dark. I return to my shadow. I return to the core of my being. I return to what I have lost, forgotten, abandoned and rejected. I return to my grief, to my fear, and the places where I feel powerless. I return to my body and breath. I return to my humanity. I return to my heart. I return to compassion. I return to the earth. I return to all parts of me. I return to home. I return to my soul. I return to oneness. I return to my life whole. Just take a moment now just to set an intention for this evening's practice. Once you've done that, we'll make our way into a wide knee child's pose. So just stretching out on the mat, taking your knees nice and wide. So the, the big toes can touch here and then reaching your arms forward. And if you need some support to make this more comfortable, you can. You can bring the floor up to meet you here or you could just rest your head down on the floor. Again, if the hips are not making their way all the way back to the heels, that's fine too. If you need a cushion, you can place it just underneath your hips here. We'll just settle in here. 
Just feeling your body's edges as you settle into your first shape this evening. So keeping your right arm stretched out, we'll make our way into a shoulder stretch here. So left arm goes underneath the right arm. The shoulder comes to the floor. The side of the face comes to the floor. If it doesn't reach the floor comfortably, just place a rolled up blanket or a cushion underneath your left ear. And then settle here. And slowly, mindfully back to center, stretching your left arm forward. And we'll do the same to the other side. So right arm underneath, palm facing up. Just resting that right shoulder on the floor, the side of the face on the floor for some support. And then settle in, just explore your first edge here. Soften into it. So one more breath in here, inhale. And then exhale slowly back to center, just making your way into a tabletop pose. So knees are directly underneath your head. We'll make our way into our baby dragon from here. So you might like to use some blocks. We'll place something underneath your left knee if you don't already have a blanket on the mat. Right knee is lined up with your ankle. And then if you'd like to place your hands on the blocks just to rest them down. You're not pushing down into the floor or the blocks. You're just allowing the arms to settle. And the work happens is take that left leg back as far as you can. So you can begin to stretch out the quadriceps of the left leg. Once you're here, so no pushing or lifting, you can saddle, even rest the head down. If that's comfortable. Put a little timer on here. So we're going to stay three minutes each side. So come to a place that you're able to soften into for three minutes and feel sensations. 
Let the shoulders move away from the ears. So just notice where do you feel the most sensation in the body? And just let rest, let's, your awareness rest there. Just noticing the shape of the sensation, the texture of the sensation. So really immersing your awareness into the sensations that you're feeling. So as we begin to release into that deep connective tissue, the fascia, the tendons, the ligaments, you may notice some twitching in the body. You may notice different sensations here. So as much as you can, just stay with whatever comes up. So just soften into it. Last night's focus was very much the upper body. So this evening's focus is sacred hips. So we get to work a few other things also, but mostly the hips and the lower body. Two more breaths here. And one more. And then slowly, mindfully, just take your right leg back. You're coming back into a tabletop. And before we move to the other side, so a nice little counter pose will be our cat and cow. So we'll just do four of those. So as you inhale, just begin to lift your chest and tailbone as you lengthen the front of your spine. And as you exhale around the spine, chin to chest, create space in the back of the body. Just three more like this. Inhale, lift the heart and tailbone. Exhale, around the spine, draw the belly in. Two more. So you're allowing the movement to follow the breath. And then the last one here. And then we'll step forward with your left foot. We can do the same. So a little baby dragon. Left knee is over the ankle. And the real work happens the further you bring that right leg back. So you can get into the quadriceps of the right leg and the hip flexors, which can get pretty tight when there's not a lot of movement happening. Just soften into this. Shoulders away from the ears. Exploring where is your edge on this side, so it may feel very different. It's perfectly normal to have one tighter hip than the other. If you're not feeling much sensation, just go a little deeper. Take that right knee back a little bit more and then soften and resist the temptation to move. 
So the work happens by the stillness and the softening. We try and bypass the big muscles in the body by not warming up for the poses as well. So we go in quite cold. What sensations do you feel on the right side of your body? What sensations do you feel on the left side of your body? Is it possible to take your shoulders a little bit more away from your ears? Keep your jaw nice and soft and your face. It's optional to keep your head lifted. If you like, you can drop the head down and lengthen the neck. So yin looks like a very easy practice from the outside. But to really participate in the class fully, you really need to be able to stay focused on this moment, what you're feeling, moment by moment in the body. Just one more full breath in here and out. And then we make our way back onto hands and knees for cat cow. And we'll just do four rounds again. Take the heel of your hands a little bit in front of you so they're not directly underneath your shoulders. Here. Give your wrist a little bit of a break. Spread your fingers. On the inhale, lift the heart and tailbone. And as you exhale, round the spine, draw the belly in, chin towards your chest. Three more like this, inhale. Exhale. Two more. And the last one. And then from tabletop, we make our way into sleeping swan, which is basically pigeon pose in Hatha. So take your right knee right in the center between your hands. We'll walk your left leg back behind you. So just turn around to look, is the knee behind the hip and is the ankle behind the knee? And then from here, take the knee wider towards the right wrist and walk that right foot forward. Come up high on your finger pads here. Inhale, lengthen. Even drop the right hip a little bit onto the floor, even though it means twisting. That's it. So settle a little onto the right hip. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, walk forward. So lengthening the spine. You can use your blocks or your cushions. You could rest your forehead down on them. So it's up to you what you do here. Just to create a bit of space. Just try and keep the length in your spine. Feel that right hip or the sit bone drawing back actively before we totally soften towards the back of the mat. And that right or left hip bone on the front drawing down downwards towards the mat and to the front of the mat. So softening into your edges. Just settling into the sensations that are present there.
Again, noticing where do you feel the most sensation? Really diving into that sensation. Noticing the shape and the texture. Does the sensation stay the same or does it change? So what else is happening here that makes up your experience? Does the breath move easily through you? Or is it staggered or restricted in some way? And if so, is it possible to smooth out the edges of your breath? As you scan your awareness through the body, notice, is it possible to let go of anything here? Any habitual holding in the body, is it possible to soften? So forgetting about what your body looks like in this shape or what you think it looks like. If you were to, if you were to draw a shape of your body by the sensations alone, what shape would it be? And breathing into wherever you need it the most right now. I'm going to take one more full breath in here. And exhale completely. And then slowly, mindfully, just making your way up. And we'll come into, for a little counter stretch here, half Hanuman. So if you have a block, you could use it here, but it's not, it's only optional. So we'll stretch that right leg forward. And then you could place the block underneath your hamstrings if that felt comfortable. And just take a pause here, flex the toes of the, the right foot, draw them back towards your body. Just feel a nice stretch into your calf. Relax your shoulders down here. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, take your hands to the floor. Release the block. Make your way back onto hands and knees. And then we'll do that sleeping swan or pigeon pose on the left-hand side. So this time, sliding the left knee right into the center between your hands. Walk your right leg behind you. And take the knee over towards the outer wrist if that feels okay for the knee. If it doesn't, bring it right back into the center. If it's possible, you can walk that foot a little forward. And then we begin to actively draw that right hip back. Finger pads pressing down to lift the heart. Inhale. And as you exhale, begin to lengthen the spine and fold over. So it's optional to stay up here on your forearms if that feels comfortable. You could stack your hands, rest your head, or you could bring the head all the way to the floor or onto some blocks. The focus really is the lower body here. So make the upper body nice and comfortable. Just keeping the length in the spine. And then notice where are the edges in this on this side of the body. So can you draw that right hip down a little bit towards the front of the mat? And what does that change? 
and then just settle into your experience. Just blend in your awareness, breath, and body sensations. Breathing into what you're feeling here. Two more breaths here. And then slowly, mindfully, just make your way back. I'm going to take that left leg forward. So just to stretch it out for a counter stretch, I'm going to stay here for a couple of breaths. You have the option to take your block underneath your hamstrings. If that feels right, curl the toes of the left foot back towards your body. Just stretch into your calf. If it feels comfortable, inhale, reach your arms up here. Good. Exhale, take your hands down and then come back. Just sit on your heels just for a moment. Oops, and pause here. And just notice already, how do you feel right now? effects of some of the shapes on your body, on your breath, your mind. And now we're changing the focus to the upper body again for Anahata Asana, heart to earth pose. So in this, it's nice to have a cushion as well, actually handy to make the floor come up and meet you. So knees underneath your hips. 
So they stay directly here. You can take your arms as wide as they can be, stretching them forward or trying to reach the heart down to the floor. So often it doesn't come all the way down. And if that's the case, you can take a block underneath your chest to arrive onto it or a cushion. It might even feel a little bit better. So that it's, it's not the head reaching the floor, it's the heart first. If you can keep your arms straight, go ahead. And if not, just straighten and then bend so that you have the length and you can bring the lower arms onto the floor. This can be quite intense, quite fast. So be mindful of that when you choose your shape that we're gonna stay in for three minutes. So soften down. So that part of the thoracic spine just underneath the shoulder blades. That's where we're working deep into here as we open up the chest and the shoulders, the front of the shoulders. You can place your head on the floor if that's comfortable too. If you need to take a modification, and this is too deep, you can come into this, the half one that we did last one, melting heart, where you take your right shoulder, elbow underneath your shoulder, left arm is straight up. So just see what suits your body tonight. How does it feel here? Is it possible to stay still and breathe into the sensations that you're feeling? Notice where your mind goes when you're in an uncomfortable position. And come back to your breath. Just take two more full breaths in and out here. And then slowly, mindfully, just make your way back. Sit back on your heels and pause. Here. Your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze them up and then exhale, let them be heavy. And just close your eyes and soften. So our emphasis is going back to the legs now, inner hips for our shoelace. So I'll show you a really nice way of getting into shoelace. And we can either do one legged or two legged shoelace. So one can be, you can actually be on your hands and knees here. And you can just cross your legs over. So the right is gonna come over the, the left. So we're stacking the knees and then you can sit back between your heels. So this is uncomfortable for everybody. Some people are in turn, have internally rotated hips. Others have externally rotated. If it's really uncomfortable, sit on the block, lift yourself up a little higher. And if that still isn't working for you, the best thing to do is stretch out the bottom leg and that we stack the right knee on top of the left knee and you could still be sitting up high, but it's not comfortable. So as much as you can stack them, find your set bones on the floor or on a block 
whatever's more comfortable. Feel the length in both sides of your waist. So feel a drawing up, pelvic floor, a lift of the abdomen. And then just soften the shoulders here. So often we come into a forward fold here, but we're not going to today. So we're just going to sit here for a moment, settle into this shape. You might not be feeling very much um, yet, but we're going to do a little bit of shoulder work as well. So we're going to, instead of doing head of the cow arms, go Makasana arms that often comes with this leg shape in yoga, we're going to go eagle arms. So stretch your arms out, inhale, and as you exhale, cross your right over your left, so you're hugging the elbows together. Walk your hands around the back. So you may be getting enough of a stretch here, or we take your forearms together, and then if you can even just connect your thumb and a little finger, or if you can bring your hands together, just see how it suits your body to me. You only need to find an edge. So if you're hugging the arms together, think of trying to squeeze something between your forearms. Now reach your fingers up towards the ceiling and then let the shoulder blades move down the back. Make sure there's no tension or holding in the neck here. Great length on both sides of your waist from the inside and then just soften the skin, the muscles on the outside. Broaden across your collarbones. Breathe into the sensations you're feeling. Inhale, open up the arms, take them back. And as you exhale, we will fold over the legs now. So resting your hands down. If you can rest your head down, go ahead. You may like to place a block here or build the floor again up to meet you so that you can soften down. And notice what happens. So does the sit bones, do they begin to lift off the floor? And as much as you can, keep them down on the floor, at least in contact with the floor or a block beneath you. Is there anything you can let go of here? Some physical holding. Some stuck emotions or thoughts. And then slowly, mindfully come all the way up, inhale. And as you exhale, we'll twist to the right hand side. So twisting the torso to the right, left arm against your right leg like a lever, right hand moves behind you. So as you inhale, lengthen from the base of your spine, exhale, turning abdomen, ribs and chest to the right. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, turning shoulders and head to the right. So one more breath in, lengthen, create space. And as you exhale, unwind. 
and we'll just unwrap the legs. And you can just take them apart and just let the knees windscreen wiper from side to side just to release that. And then we'll make our way onto hands and knees to do the other side. So just so that, because it's a little bit easier to get into it if you're doing the full sh shoelace here. This time the left leg will go over the right so that the knees are hugging together. And then you sit back. Make sure that you're not sitting on your heels. So the heels are to either side of you. Again, if this is uncomfortable for the lower leg, which it is for a lot of people, just extend the, the lower leg out. You're still gonna get that work on the top leg here. If it's not comfortable and there's a huge gap between the top and the bottom, you can actually place a cushion in between if you need that support and if it helps. So once again, just close your eyes. We'll just find your alignment to lift up through both sides of your waist from the inside and then exhale, soften the shoulders and the skin. Let your arms be heavy here. Feel the movement of your breath. Inhale, open up your arms. We're going to do Garudasana, arms, eagle arms. Exhale, left on top of right. This time, walk your hands behind you. And then forearm to forearm, palm to palm. Take the hands away from the face. Reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Allow the shoulder blades to move that back down the back. Hug the forearms towards each other. Squeeze them. And then broaden across your shoulders, your collarbones. Breathe into the sensations you're feeling here. Inhale, open up your arms again. And as you exhale, fold over the leg. Again, take what you need to support you here. You can rest your head down or put some blocks up and build the floor up to meet you. And then just soften and explore your edges here. Let your shoulders be heavy. Slowly, mindfully come all the way up on the inhale. And as you exhale, we'll twist to the left this time. So the right arm goes against your left upper thigh like a lever, and the left hand comes behind your back. Inhale, lengthen from the base of your spine. And as you exhale, turn your abdomen, your ribs, your chest to the left. Inhale, lift and lengthen, create space. Exhale, turning shoulders and head.
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, unwind. Maybe place your hands on the floor as you own, cross the legs. Just sit back on the heels for a moment. Just close your eyes. Just let everything settle. So our next pose is called mermaid and it's a side bend. So from sitting in your heels, I begin to shift my buttocks over to the left hand side. So you're on your heels, you're just gonna shimmy over. If there's a massive gap between the floor as you do this, you can always roll up your blanket and scoot the hips onto it. So you're not gonna fall over to the left. Right hand comes to the floor onto the finger pads and then extend your left arm up over your head and lean slightly to the right. That's it, and just arrive into there and soften. So just two minutes here for a side bend. If this is really catching your shoulder, you can still lean over to the side without reaching your arm overhead. So once you reach your arm overhead, as you lengthen the lever, it becomes more intense as well. Just soften into what you're feeling here. Breathing space along the left side of the body. Can you breathe into the sensations that you're feeling? One more breath in here, inhale. And then exhale, come all the way up. Sit back on your heels, so you come back into the center and just pause, just let that rebound effect happen where the body settles back into neutral. And then we'll do the same, so shift your hips over to the right hand side. If you need a little extra height, just roll up your blanket so that you're not tipping completely over to the right. The so heels are not underneath my buttocks here. The toes of the right foot are underneath the ankle of the left, the left ankle. From here, I'll take my left finger pads on the floor, reach my right arm up, and then lean slightly over to the left, just to get that side bend. And close your eyes. Again, notice, where do you feel the most sensation? Does it remain the same or change? Does the breath move easily through you in this shape? And slowly, mindfully make your way back. And we'll come to a seated position. So take the legs straight out the front. So you take the feet nice and wide again. We'll just windscreen wipe at the legs. Just unwind some of that holding. And then from here, we're coming into Caterpillar, which is basically Paschimottanasana in Hatha Yoga, your seated forward fold. If your hamstrings are feeling tight, keep a little bend in the knees. You can even roll up a blanket underneath them just to give that little bend. Feel your sit bones on the ground. This is yin, so we're not like gonna lengthen, hold and reach. We're just lengthen, pour the body over, take as much support as you need. So, if you've got a bolster, you might like to use it. 
You can even have the unicorn horn variation. <laughs> this is actually really nice if you do have a bolster. But you can use cushions to build up, to come to a place that's comfortable. And we do stay here in this pose for four minutes. So arrive into a place that you can feel sensations. So if you're not feeling your edge here, go a little deeper and then soften. And let the shoulders move away from the ears. You want to slowly, mindfully make your way up, inhale. And then place your feet flat on the floor. Just move your props to the side. We're going to make our way all the way down for Shavasana. So come to the floor, just bring your knees into your chest. Just hug them in. Take a deep breath in, forehead to your knees. Squeeze everything. And then exhale and arrive in your chosen relaxation shape. And drop down as quickly as you can into stillness. Feeling the effect of gravity working through your body here. Feeling the touch of air against your skin.
space that you've created with your practice, space in and around you. Physical space and the mental space. Feel your breath moving through that space. And this evening's reading, let the universe lead the way. Feel and see how the life force, the heartbeat of the universe, leads you on, guides you to take you on the way. Yes, there are times when we need to march forward, muster up our willpower and grind through the motions. But those times are transitory. And that's not the magical way we're living now. Even when we stop, doubt, wonder, get tired and confused. The universe is there to revitalize us, move us along our path and lead the way. If you're tired, rest. If you're sad, cry. If you're thirsty, take a long cold drink of water. If you feel hopeless, feel that but know it's just for that moment. If you feel confused, feel that. Feel it until clarity, desire, hope and meaning break through. You don't have to trudge through on willpower, not any longer. You do not have to push yourself through. Rest until you feel healed, then gently go forward. Let the universe assist you. Open your eyes, the eyes of your soul, and see where to go. Feel where to go. Sense what to do next. See how the magical power of the universe carries you along. Even when you get tired, even when you get confused, you're connected. You're connected to yourself and the universe. Quieten the chatter of your mind. Renew your body. Replenish your soul. Take in all the healing energy of the world around you. And let the universe lead the way. And just invite a deeper breath into your body here. Just bringing some small movement back into your hands, your feet, your neck, your head. And then take a full body stretch, whatever way feels right for your body right now. Maybe a yawn or a sigh if that feels right. And then placing your feet back on the floor, slowly begin to roll onto your right side. And then press yourself up to a seat. So once you arrive at the top, we place our hands together. And as you inhale, we'll lengthen from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, bow first to yourself for showing up and then to each other. Namaste.